Hi guys, and welcome back to IVF with Danye. It's Wednesday, and on Wednesday, we vlog. We are here to vlog this Wednesday. Welcome, 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 welcome. Now, I know that everything looks a little bit different. I am currently at work on my one hour lunch break in the parking garage vlogging. I know it's been a while. It has been a while since I have vlogged. About a month. It has been about a month since I have vlogged. I won't hold y'all. It's been a lot going on. And so it has just been really hard for me to vlog. I've recently, a lot has been going on. A lot has been going on. So it has been super hard for me to vlog. But it has been so much happening. And I have to update you guys on so much. First thing we are going to start with is my girl Mari's Goods. She sent me some body butter. It, it is pumpkin and this is how it looks. Y'all, it smells bomb. My girl Mari sent me some pumpkin body butter and this is exactly how it looks. I've been using it. I used it quite a few times. It smells really good. My man's been rubbing me down with it. So it be feeling good. I am going to eat, guys. I'm going to just eat when I get back upstairs to my desk. So... This body butter smells really good. It is vegan friendly. It's organic. It's eczema friendly. Shipping was fast. Mari has a website. I will be dropping the link to the website below in the description. She has Instagram. She has Facebook. She has Snapchat. She has TikTok. Her products are amazing. I love my girl's products. I am going to keep using them, especially a long day, a nice hot shower, some of this body butter. I'll be asleep. I'll be out call it knockout because i'd be out i love it i love it i get so many compliments especially when i'm at work and my co-workers be kind of close and i'll be back up now they'd be like girl you smell good i'd be like thank you thank you thank you my girl mari's goods i always keep one of her body butters in my purse always i have to keep a body butter in my purse i keep a uh, lotion i have lo lotion upstairs on my desk i have stuff at home i don't like this lighting though so please just don't pay it no mind it's just i'm in a parking garage and this lighting is not lighting right now so i don't like it so don't pay it no mind but guys today is 420 happy 420 if you are marijuana friendly happy 420 as soon as i get off y'all know what it do <laughs> um happy birthday to my dad today is my dad's birthday as well taurus goals so happy birthday to my father a lot has been going on, guys, but I am back. I am back like a snack attack with another vlog. I just recently started a new job. I am right now currently employed with Rush. I work at Rush Complete Hospital down in Aurora, and I'm still at Buffalo Wild Wings part-time, of course. Um, it's kind of hard, the new job. I won't lie. I do one week, one day a week, a 12-hour, but a lot of these shifts are about 10 to 11 hours. So, like, that one day a week, 12-hour don't really, you know, hurt because the rest of the shifts are, like, 9 to 10 hours. And so, it's just been kind of hard with trying to vlog because Wednesdays are my days to vlog, but I get off so late. When I get home, I'm tired. I'm, like, just trying to hurry up and take a shower, eat, and lay down before I have to get up early again. And it's, like, 7 a.m. I have to be here at 7 a.m. And so, it be rough. So, that's really why I haven't vlogged. And then just a little bit of battling with depression and definitely hair depression because my hair was not done. And it was time to take them knowledge out. That's all I could do with them knowledge was take them out. So, I took them out. Um, I have my hair in a ponytail. I am kind of sad because my birthday is Saturday. My hair is not done, but whatever. Hair is hair, guys, but hair depression is real. Hair depression is real. I feel like somebody's grandson when my hair is not done. Hair depression is real. And did I get ID? Like, when I go and try to get a drink or swishers, they be like, can we see your ID? Because I got this little ass, this little girl ass ponytail in my head. And so, I just be upset when my hair is not done. I am getting a little bit better with not having my hair done just because it's getting kind of longer. So, the longer it gets, I be like, okay, you know, I ain't so bald no more. I'm looking good. But it's still a... A hair depression because like who don't want their hair done that's part of self-care that's you know when you look good you feel good so that's definitely part of self-care i hope that everybody's doing well i hope that everybody's doing well i hope that everybody is taking mental health days i hope that everybody is taking time to practice self-care i hope that everybody is taking time to heal remember guys there's no rush in healing i was one of the first people who thought i had to heal super fast after my miscarriage it is no rush in healing. If you have anybody around you who's telling you you need to heal faster or you need to get over your miscarriage, don't be around them. You don't want to have that person around you who's telling you you need to hurry up and grieve because grief does not have a time limit on it. Grief will come and go. 
and you can take as long as time as you need you don't owe nobody an explanation and that's one thing that it took me a really long time to realize but now that i realize that i don't owe nobody an explanation and i'm gonna do what i have to do to keep my mental stability stable i just continue to move on with my life and that is definitely something i'm gonna push in my vlogging for other girls don't ever feel like you have to hurry up and heal or you know hurry up and process it you could take as much as time as you want and you don't owe nobody an explanation at all whatsoever. Same thing with my infertility diagnosis. Overall, I can say when I first vlogged with you guys talking about my infertility diagnosis, I could never talk about it without crying. I was always in here crying, 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 crying because I felt robbed. I felt less of a woman. I felt like, damn, you know, what else could go wrong? But I would say that I have come to terms with my infertility only because... I know that God has something out here for me. I don't know what it is yet, y'all, but a bitch is tired. She's tired, but I know that God has something out here for me. And I know that what I'm doing, I am doing right. And so that is why things have been in line. The universe has been working with me. These past few weeks have been rough, but I won't lie to you guys. It has not been as rough. Yes, it's been rough to me, but where I was three years ago and where I am today is not as rough like i i could it could be worse but it's not worse at all it's definitely better it's definitely getting better and all i can really do is continue to grow take my time grow one day at a time you can't really rush it you can't cheat the universe that's the one thing about the universe is it's gonna get you you can't cheat it you might get by for that one second but it's gonna come back when you come back it's gonna come back harder and so you can't cheat the universe like at all whatsoever and so ladies definitely take your time it's always support groups on facebook you have therapy you have friends that support system if you don't have that support system i always say in every vlog that my messages are open i have instagram i have facebook i have snapchat i have twitter i have whatsapp I have TikTok. I have all the social media. So if any women who are watching my vlogs do decide like, OMG, I need someone to talk to. I feel like I don't have that support or that person to talk to. I'm never going to tell you, no, you can't talk to me. I'm never going to tell you, girl, get over it. You've been talking about it too much. I'm never going to tell you that because it's a traumatic event and it's okay to talk about it. And it's okay to revisit that moment. And it is okay. And sometimes when you're trying to hide from things, the universe is like, no, look, 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 look. And I promise you guys, like I swear to God, I'm not lying. Whenever I get into like a really bad depression or whenever I feel like, you know, damn, my time is not happening yet. It ain't going to come anytime soon. Like sometimes I go through a phase. Oh, here come the tears. I told myself I'm going to cry. But sometimes I do go through a phase where I will stop vlogging for a little bit at a time because it's just like, you know, I still don't see a positive pregnancy test. I'm still not pregnant. What's the point? Like, what's the point? What am I going to vlog for? Like, I'm not going to be able to show my viewers any growth or, you know, any progression or any positivity. And so then I start to beat myself up. Like, you know, what's the point? But the universe works in funny ways because I can say this one, this past month that I have not been vlogging, I swear to God, every time I look at the clock, it says 12, 14. I say this in every vlog that when I found out I was pregnant, my estimated due date by the ultrasound was December 14th. So every time, like just this past month, I could not find it in me to vlog because I just felt like I'm wasting these people's time. Like I'm still not pregnant. They probably don't care about other shit that I got going on. And it's just like every time I would look up, I was seeing 1214. If I would turn over to go use the bathroom and just tap my phone, 1214. Sometimes I would fall, you know, wake up at 8 a.m., fall back to sleep, you know, get up at noon, 1214. Freaking the other week, I went to the grocery store. My change was $12.14 back as my change. You know, just even with earlier today, um, I asked the patient they date of birth, 12, 14, and I was just like, oh my goodness, it's time for me to vlog. And so, here I am. I Here I am vlogging, and I'm going to let you guys know that. That's basically why I haven't vlogged. So, guys, the reason that I have not vlogged in the past month is just really because I felt like, what was the point of vlogging if I didn't have nothing positive to tell you guys? And I felt like, you know, because my vlog is about IVF and my miscarriage and getting pregnant, then, you know, if I'm not pregnant yet or if there's nothing about the updating on the getting pregnant you guys wouldn't care but 
but but but but but the amazing support group that I have and the amazing people around me that I have everybody has been reassuring reaching out to me like hey girl you don't have to be pregnant like we're still gonna watch your vlogs we still want to hear about what you're going through what you're battling with what you could tell other women what we can learn from you and so that that right there who it hit my heart definitely hit my heart super super heavy because this is the entire time I was beating myself up, telling myself, like, you know, they're not going to care. You ain't even pregnant yet. Like, what is you going to say? You're going to waste these people's time. But to have people come into my messages and say, hey, you know, we don't care that you're not pregnant yet. We still want to hear what you have to talk about. We love your vlog. We think you should keep going. It'll touch somebody else. It definitely motivated me and gave me the motivation and that courage to go and vlog and so i kind of sat down and i kind of told myself danye is not all about pregnancy it's other things that comes along with being a mom getting ready to become a mom and still healing and that is one thing that i am still doing not i'm not gonna say i'm officially healed so i am still healing but another thing that i am still coming to terms with is my infertility and some days are better than others like today was one of those days where i was able to tell myself like okay god has something better for you just keep doing what you're doing and you're gonna get your blessing in disguise and then there are other days where i get up and i'm just like bro i can't do this shit no more like i feel like i'm being taunted everybody around me is expecting that i work in a freaking hospital and so labor and deliveries below me and i just be feeling like i'm being taunted and make like just some days are worse than others and so those days that are worse than others come a little bit more and so i'm trying to figure out ways that i can get better days over bad days and so i just try to remain positive and i try to tell myself it's gonna happen when the time is right it's gonna happen when i get on my feet it's gonna happen when i least expect it I try not to think about it and it's super hard and so i really do try to stay off of social media just to protect my mental health you have to protect your energy protect your mental health and uh, that is the most important thing and so I just try to tell myself like stop being dramatic girl your time is gonna come you're gonna do what you need to do when you need to do it and I continue to just go about my days but one thing that I won't stop doing is vlogging even one thing I'm gonna tell I'm gonna promise you guys is even if I ever get to a point where like I have not vlogged in a month or a few months or even a few weeks, I'm not gonna say a few months. My longest vlog has been a month. And I was getting I was getting messages out of people, my friends was texting me like, hey girl, what's going on? It's been a vlog, it's been a vlog. I was being tagged in Facebook posts, like what's going on? Where's the vlog? And so here we are, we are back with the vlog. And I promise that I would never make you guys wait that long again. Well, unless you know, you know, depression is hard i won't lie to y'all but i'm gonna try my hardest not to make you guys wait that long for another vlog i promise i promise i promise no smoke hands up no shoe officers i promise but overall guys i'm doing good i am doing good i'm tired though getting up at 7 a.m getting to the hospital i live in woolridge i work in aurora so trying to get to aurora in the morning i'm up early i'll be up some mornings my man is still asleep i'll be having to kind of wake him up give him a kiss let him know i'm on my way to work and then to have to work all day like and then to have to be here and work all day it's just like being an adult don't sit well with me it's just like it's the work it's the work the work part of it it's just it don't sit well with me at all and then you have to wait two weeks before you even get your paycheck i just i want one of them jobs so you can go to work and when you clock out you just got your money and, and you go on about your life but man but overall guys i am doing good i'm doing good um right now i am still taking my medication still taking my vitamins i'm trying to get back in the gym slowly but surely my hospital does have this little health plex thing so it's like a gym and you know if you work of course it's free to get in so one of these days i told myself i'm gonna stop being lazy and i am gonna go to the gym after work i need to start like packing gym clothes and that's another thing guys going to the gym i heard that going to the gym is a hard thing but once you get into it it gets easier so that's another thing that i do want to add into my 2022 is just being able to go into the gym and relieve some of that stress and not be so depressed because i really just go from work to home and then on my way home i'm on social media when i get to work i'm on social media i'm always on social media and so that's why i feel like i'd be depressed a lot because all i see is expecting mothers and pregnancy tests 
that's the ultrasounds and i'm always on social media and if i had actual stuff to do with my time and i wasn't just on social media i wouldn't be triggered so much and so that's my fault and so that's something that i was able to sit down and actually look at and think about and reflect on and so with that being said being the rest just the rest of 2022 enjoying the rest of this year as we get along in the rest of this year i can't even talk y'all i'm so tired i'm ready to take a nap but as we get through the rest of this year one of my goals is to get in a gym so that i can get off of social media so much and just not be as triggered and not be as bothered and actually be able to do what i need to do because you never know like you know the longer you like when you're waiting on something to happen, it don't happen. And so I just try to tell myself, you know, don't think about pregnancy all the time. Don't think about becoming a mother all the time because then one day you'll wake up and it'll just be, like, it'll just happen. And I still have faith. I know that, you know, I was told my fallopian tubes are blocked, but I never once lost faith. I still have faith that one day I'm going to wake up and it's going to be a positive pregnancy test and the doctors are going to be like, oh my God, holy fuck, how did you get pregnant? And I'm like, I told you motherfucker so. So I still have that in the back of my head. I still pray for that. I tell myself every day like i just i know that i'm gonna get one kid naturally even if i do have to do ivf i'm not against ivf it does not make you less of a mom or less of a woman if you are pregnant through ivf it actually makes you more of a mom more of a woman but part of me still want to feel like a woman and so i just i be crossing my fingers so i be praying i be manifesting like god please 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 one of these days just let me naturally conceive i don't give a damn if the doctors have answers on why it happened or not i just want to be able to know that my body did what it was supposed to do and i had a healthy baby and you know whatever problems come after that come after that but that is my goal and that is my hope not my hope but that's i know that that's gonna happen that is what i know is gonna happen i try to speak it into existence as much as i can and uh, that's all you can really do and y'all i didn't cry now my eyes did get watery you know they got they got watery the i was skin choking up a little but i have not cried yet so that's good if you notice that i'm looking at the camera i am looking at my timer only because i am on my hour lunch and i'm far as heck from the garage i was having to break a sweat to get to the garage to get comfortable and then i had to put on my lip gloss i have to breathe i got me a buffalo chicken wrap that i'm gonna eat when i get back upstairs to my desk um overall i hope that everybody's doing good i hope that everybody is out here doing great i know that we are still kind of getting on our feet from this pandemic. I know that everybody is probably in a hole with some bills right now. I know that everybody's probably stressed out. You know, you probably have kids. You're probably pregnant. Um, you probably don't have kids. Everybody is stressed out. And so one thing that I will continue to do is bring awareness to mental health. Please take the time to protect your mental health. Whatever is there will be there. If you die tomorrow, the debt will be there. It it will be there. It's not like they're going to be like, come from the dead, bitch, and pay your debt. The shit's going to be there. So try not to stress yourselves out. Protect y'all mental health. Have y'all self-care days. Something that I've come to conclusion that I like is hot tea. Something that I've come to conclusion that I like is smoothie. So now when I get up in the morning, I go through this routine where I have a smoothie as soon as I get to work. And then a brown maybe one or two o'clock i'll go into the break room i'll make me some hot tea and that hot tea it just kind of helps it kind of like brings me down i'd be like okay it's three o'clock it's wednesday a few more days i could get through it a few more hours i could get through it no matter what you go through in life you will get through it that's one thing that i was always told and i remember when i first had my miscarriage i felt like that was so insensitive for a person to tell me like you will get through it and of course, I feel like it was insensitive because at the time, you know, I was going through a traumatic event and I was raw. It's like a freaking open wound with no bandaid on it. It's raw, but it's not insensitive. And now that I am older and that, and you know, I'm three years post a miscarriage and I got past it and I'm still healing and I'm talking more about it. Anything that happens in life, you will get through. You will get through. So one thing that I will continue to promote is my mental health and just taking care of your mental health. Not even just my mental health, but that's really why I haven't vlogged just these past few weeks is because my mental health has just been terrible. But now that I know why my mental health is terrible, I'm trying to do things differently. So one of the biggest things that I will be doing is staying off of social media, unless it pertains to IVF or Danye. I'm going to try to, you know, of course 
drop my quotes and drop my scientific facts and drop my facts on IVF and PCOS and endometriosis and I'm still post my vlogs on YouTube but the social social part of it I do think I am gonna try to fall back a little from the social media only because it do kind of bother me I don't know why it still bother me sometimes I beat myself up I'll be like I wish it didn't bother me so much and I don't know why things happen the way they happen but I do know that I'm going to take this vlog and I'm going to just go as far as I can and I'm going to meet another Danye who is going to be telling me exactly everything she's been through and I'm going to be like you are going to thrive and you are going to be so successful and I'm going to know that that person's going to be okay and that person is going to know that they're going to be okay and everybody's going to be okay because at the end of the day that's all we can really do is be okay and miscarriages are not uncommon and they don't make you less of a woman and they don't like you make you less of a mom if anything it makes you more of a woman it makes you more of a mom because you just went through a traumatic event and you were able to find that courage to try again and it it is hard it's definitely hard trying to try again you know getting pregnant seems easy that's what they tell you in high school like you know yeah it seems easy but until you've had a loss or until you've you know seen multiple negative tests every month until you've had a partner ask you so you're going to give me a baby this month it's hard trying to conceive is definitely hard especially when you have had a traumatic event happen and so it takes a lot but one thing that is okay. one thing about it is that it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay we're gonna get through it and that's pretty much all you can do is really get through it and you have to be able to tell yourself you know it's okay I had a miscarriage I'm not less of a woman I'm not less of a mom I will get through this I'm still healing it's okay to grieve it's okay to cry I don't have to rush I don't have to hurry and move on and so that is something I'm going to promote every vlog same thing with infertility you are not less of a woman you are not less of a mom secondary infertility you know you are not less of anything if anything it makes you more of a woman because you are having to go through all of these hurdles and all of these trials and all of these eras so does it make you less of a woman that I'm finally able to say without crying that y'all I am finally able to say without crying some mornings I wake up and I look in the mirror and I just have to tell myself you are not less of a woman you are not less of a mom your time is coming you are doing everything that you are supposed to do and when the time is right it will happen that's what I tell myself and then y'all I know it's probably cliche as hell but at the end of the day, we are not on our own time. We on someone else's time. And that is the man above. And everything he does, he does for a reason. And you can't compare and you can't question. And some questions are okay. But all you could do is kind of go with the ride. You have to ride the wave. Go with the flow. And that's pretty much, that's kind of what I have to do. I have no option but to do that. But overall, guys... I'm doing good. I'm doing much better. I'm definitely doing much better. I was able to vlog today and I'm definitely super proud of myself because I missed vlogging. I definitely missed vlogging and I missed myself. And so now that I'm here vlogging, I finally feel like myself again. How I'm crying. I'm only crying because just these past three weeks have been super hard just with starting a new job and going in between both jobs and then having everything that I have on my mind and on my plate has definitely been hard but I'm feeling like myself again and I was finally able to vlog and I was beating myself up about vlogging because I had so many people messaging me like where's the vlog where's the vlog and then I felt like because I wasn't pregnant yet or I didn't have no pregnancy updates or infertility updates I shouldn't vlog and so I was just going through this really hard time and finally I was able to sit down with all of the support that I am so blessed to have everybody was able to reassure me and remind me and keep me going and so I finally woke up this morning and I was able to do my hair and I was able to get the work and I was able to get lunch and I was able to get to my car and here I am I'm able to vlog and so you know you can't be unappreciative you have to be grateful and so it it could be worse it could be worse but it's not it could be worse but it's not and you know every good thing comes out of a hard fight that is one thing that i could tell you guys is every good thing comes out of a hard fight and so i'm not done fighting not at all i might get tired i might get tired but 
I'm not done fighting. And so every vlog that I do, I hope to be able to transfer some of my strength through that vlog to someone else. Because I know that there are other Danyays, or it may be another Danyay, but that is my ultimate goal is to be able to transfer my spirit and transfer my strength and transfer all that's in me as I vlog to whoever is watching the vlog and feels like they need that vlog to help them or you know they're looking at that vlog for support or you know you never know and so huh, I'm done crying I'm always crying y'all I'm always crying but that is me that is me and I finally finally feel like myself again i'm finally vlogging i'm finally in my car i missed it i'm finally back being a medical assistant i missed that i love bartending i love serving i love being at buffalo wild wings but being a medical assistant is who i am i love helping people i'm a compassionate person i'm a people's person i love what i do i love my vitals i love my blood pressure i love drawing blood i love giving immunizations i love being around people i love being in the medical field i love that smell of sandy wipes where you're wiping things down and you're disinfecting things and so i finally feel like i'm back to myself i'm back to myself i'm back into my sleeping habits i'm back into my eating routines i'm back into being a medical assistant and i am back into my vlogging mode and it felt good to be able to give you guys a vlog this Wednesday and I missed you guys and I hope that everybody is doing well. I hope that everybody is protecting their mental energy. I hope that everybody is protecting their mental stability. I hope that everybody is having self-care days. I hope that everyone's babies are doing good. I hope that everybody's doing good and if you are pregnant if you are expecting congratulations. I wish you nothing but the healthiest pregnancy the healthiest delivery and I can't wait because when it's my time, I'm gonna be like, y'all, it's it, it's it. I'm gonna just be holding the pregnancy. I was like, y'all, it's time. I can't wait. I literally, I can't wait though. I can't wait. I know that I'm gonna be such an awesome mom. I love kids. I love people. I love being friendly. I'm sociable. I'm freaking bubbly. I'm humble. I love everything that I do. And this vlog, this specific vlog, and this moment in my Nissan right now helped me so much. Like, I don't know if you guys were able to see how i was at the start of the vlog but i hope by the time you guys get to the end of this vlog you're smiling and you are probably crying just as much as i am but y'all i feel much better i feel much better i'm doing much better i'm looking much better my weight is staying down i'm doing good i'm doing good and i'm feeling good and so i am gonna end my vlog here i hope that everybody's having a really good wednesday because on wednesdays every wednesday is, is wednesday so what do we do on wednesdays we vlog if you guys ever get to a wednesday and you don't see a vlog it's probably just because your girl's going through something but for everybody who took the chance took the time to check in on me and reassure me and talk to me and support me thank you guys so 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 much and everybody they know who they are and i don't think that i have could have gotten into this vlog today and i was able to get so much support so much love and so much reassurance just from the people around me that i love the most and i would not change it for the world at all and that is the vlog for today we're out and we're done enjoy the rest of you guys it's wednesday it is wednesday all you got is thursday and friday boom it's the weekend you could get lit it's 420 be safe out here for my 420 we friendly please be safe out here and enjoy your day Mwah.